If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the interview show. I am here with Beth, Beth Brodov... I can't say it. Beth Brodovsky. Br- Beth Brodovsky. Mm-hmm. It took my kids years to be able to do it, so don't feel bad. All right, good, good, good. She is the head honcho at Iris Creative, and she is the head voice of the Driving Participation podcast that you can find on your local um, podcast um, program iTunes, and um, I, I listen to you over on Pocket Cast. So, Beth, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's uh, good to talk to you again, Seth. Yeah. So, Beth and I go way back. We've been with each other for a few years now. Yeah. And, Beth, what is Iris Creative, and what do you do for the Philadelphia community? So, Iris Creative is a marketing, communication, and graphic design firm, and we focus on organizations who need people. People show up, get involved, and give back. So we do a lot of work with nonprofits, schools, and associations on things like branding, ongoing marketing communications, and fundraising. Very nice. Very nice. And there's a um, driving participation factor into that. So, you know, I've been in business for shockingly 18 years. I can't, I can't even believe I've been in business that long. And as we've grown, I started out as a freelancer by myself in my basement. And now I have a staff. We have a lot of experience. I have a lot of experienced people that work for me. And I started to realize as I started going to conferences and speaking at conferences that not every organization has access to all of the same resources that other organizations do. So some of them can't get out to conferences and learn from the speakers that happen there. Some of them don't have the resources to bring in a consultant or bring in a firm like mine to work with them on developing professional level marketing communications. And there's so many great things that are going on in all types of organizations uh, across the country, probably around the world, I just haven't tapped in that far yet, Mm -hmm. that I really wanted to share the great ideas that both people in organizations and other consultants are doing with their clients and internally and testing out that's really working that nobody ever hears about. So I'm bringing out people from small organizations, from big organizations, people that are in associations, people that are in private schools, colleges, healthcare nonprofits, a little bit of everything because I really feel that you never know where you're going to learn something from. Absolutely. And there's some great uh, consultants out there that that are not always the ones that you hear on all the other podcasts. So I have a few of the people that everyone knows and some of the people that people don't. And I'm just trying to mix it up with bringing great ideas that are really making a difference for people in their organizations connecting with their communities. That's great. And um, so how long has the podcast been going on for? So we started the, uh, I think the very last week of May or the very beginning of June. As I tell people, I hosted my son's wedding in June at my house. And so I figured why not start a podcast at the same time, you know, because it's not like I was doing anything. So I've been planning, though, for months and months. I probably planned it for about a year before I launched it. And uh, I'd done a lot of interviews. And I was really amazed at how many people, when I said to them, you know, hey, I'm going to be starting this podcast. Would you record an interview with me? And everybody said yes, except maybe two people. I was really surprised because I was so sure that people would say, well, you know, let me wait and see what you have going on before you, you, you know, we jump on. But everybody felt really, you know, excited to be asked and were I was amazed at how many people wanted to, you know, help me get it started. Yeah, I've, I've seen the same thing with the interview show. That people, yeah. People like to talk about themselves. And yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, I never found that. Oh, actually, no one who I've asked has said no, even some big names, you know. It's, I, it's amazing. It's amazing. It really is amazing when you, you're just starting out, you're just getting something going, 
to get people in there. Like Marvin Weinberger, you know, you know Marvin Weinberger. No, I don't. He he started. He worked on stuff. He he is the founder of CD Now. Oh really? Okay. And he and he he's a big name in the tech community. And he's like, sure, I'll be on your podcast. I mean, yes, we've we get to schedule it, but like, it's like, wow. I mean, I've, it's I've been amazing. People with like Ted Rubin. Yeah, yeah. Ted Rubin, I was like, sure, trying... I'll be on the podcast. I try and always remind people that are thinking of starting a business or have had starting a business. We we all have this fear, you know, of like, oh my God, I'm not good enough or anything. But there are so many people out there, all of us that are ahead of you. We've been through all of the trials and tribulations. It's it's hard, and most people, I think, remember how hard it is. Yeah, and we're still going through it. It's it's like I thought it was going to be this like path that went like this, but it's it's much more like this. Absolutely. And it goes up and it goes down, and you always need help. It's. It took me a while, I think maybe until, you know, a few weeks ago to get over the whole like lone wolf syndrome. You know, I started a business like a lot of people because, you know, I didn't want anybody telling me what to do. I was going to go out and do it on my own. Absolutely, and yeah. and I think you need a lot of that. You need a lot of self-directed ability to get started and be creative and be curious and to come up with new ideas. But it's taken me a lot longer to learn the whole concept of the value of collaboration and ask other people to help. And they will. It's amazing that people are so, so much more generous than you would ever think that they would be. Absolutely. So who do you, how, how do you record your podcast? Like, what do you use? So I use, I use Skype and I use Call Recorder for the recordings. I have an incredibly structured system for the podcast because, uh, so I run the, I'm doing the podcast and I run, you know, a creative firm day to day, but I also have a third thing because we work with nonprofits, we're building a website that's going to be packed with downloadable tools, uh, graphic design pieces for nonprofits. And I'm creating a big course, a really in-depth course on branding for nonprofits. Awesome. So those are the things that take up a ton ton of my time so since I'm not monetizing the podcast yet hopefully at some point I will I, I can't let it take over my life so I um, I record it through Skype which works great and then when somebody doesn't have Skype because I, I talk to business people and there's some of them despite being in business you know Skype isn't necessarily a business tool for non entrepreneurs and people yes. that don't have you know students on exchange in Germany so they don't always know it or they're not comfortable with it. So I still will do things, uh, I will call them on the phone, but I've learned to use, I'll call through Skype and I just pay for the, I pay, I put I put money into Skype credits because yes. if, if you're calling a phone, then it costs money. But if you're calling another Skype person, it's free. The sound quality isn't as good, but rather than jumping over to something like free conference call, which is what I started with, which yes. is totally free and easy, but the sound quality, I wasn't happy with it. So now I call on Skype even when I'm calling out to a, a landline because my I, my part sounds better. Well, that's what matters, you know. That you can at least get something sounding good, you know. Right. Yeah. As long as I sound good, that's all that matters. No. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So I Beth, mean, I where can people best. find you online? So people can find me online. Um, I spend most of my time on LinkedIn and on Twitter. We have a Facebook presence as well, but I'm Beth Brodowski on um, on LinkedIn and also Beth Brodowski on Twitter. And I'm also Nonprofit Toolkit on Twitter. There you go. So go find her. Yeah, so that's where I, if, if, if you want to see me and I'm, I'm actually out there myself doing it, that's where I spend, I spend a lot of time interacting and jumping in every day. I look at those two things. Since our audiences are, are nonprofits and despite the fact that nonprofits use a lot of Facebook for their communications, personally, people in nonprofits don't tend to want to spend a lot of their free time out, you know, their Facebook social time necessarily interacting with business people like me. They're much more comfortable doing that on Twitter or on a LinkedIn. Uh, one of the best things that I've done, every single issue of the podcast, uh, every, every, every session that comes out, I use the LinkedIn publishing tool to write a full, full length, long form post in LinkedIn. And I use a graphic that we, that we use to promote it on our website also into LinkedIn. The LinkedIn publishing tool amazing. has been amazing. So anybody that hasn't checked into that yet, I highly recommend it as a way to get, if, if your audience is other people that are in business and on LinkedIn, it's, it's been tremendous. Everybody that I run into says, I keep, I'm seeing everything that you're posting. So I know that it's getting in front of people and it's definitely raising our profile. That's the key. Well, thanks, Beth. Thanks. Um, I hope it's been helpful and it's always great chatting with you.